Genesis 3 Now the serpent was more cunning than any animal of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God really said you shall not eat from any tree of the garden? The woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat, but from the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden God has said, You shall not eat it or touch it, or you will die. The serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die, for God knows that on the day you eat from it your eyes will be opened and you will become like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took some of the fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves waist coverings. Now they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me some of the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you more than all the livestock, and more than any animal of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. And I will make enemies of you and the woman, and of your offspring and her descendant. He shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel." To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. In pain you shall deliver children. Yet your desire will be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat from it, cursed is the ground because of you. With hard labor you shall eat from it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall grow for you, yet you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, until you return to the ground, because from it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Now the man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. And the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now he might reach out with his hand and take fruit also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he drove the man out, and to the east of the Garden of Eden he stationed the cherubim and the flaming sword which turned every direction to guard the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 Now the man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and gave birth to Cain. And she said, I have obtained a male child with the help of the Lord. And again she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of flocks, but Cain was a cultivator of the ground. So it came about in the course of time that Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the ground. Abel, on his part, also brought an offering from the firstborn of his flock and from their fat portions. And the Lord God had regard for Abel and his offering. But for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain became very angry, and his face was gloomy. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why is your face gloomy? If you do well, will your face not be cheerful? And if you do not do well, sin is lurking at the door, and its desire is for you. But you must master it. Cain talked to his brother Abel, And it happened that when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Then he said, What have you done? 
the voice of your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you cultivate the ground, it will no longer yield its strength to you. You will be a wanderer and a drifter on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to endure. Behold, you have driven me this day from the face of the ground, and I shall be hidden from your face. And I will be a wanderer and a drifter on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. So the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance will be taken on him seven times as much. And the Lord placed a mark on Cain, so that no one finding him would kill him. Then Cain left the presence of the Lord, and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain had relations with his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to Enoch. And Cain built a city, and named the city Enoch after his son. Now to Enoch was born Irad, and Irad fathered Mahujel, and Mahujel fathered Methushel, and Methushel fathered Lamech. Lamech took two wives for himself. The name of one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, and he was the father of those who live in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play lyre and flute. As for Zillah, she also gave birth to Tubalcane, the forger of all implements of bronze and iron, and the sister of Tubalcane was Nema. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, listen to my voice. You wives of Lamech, pay attention to my words, for I have killed a man for wounding me and a boy for striking me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech seventy-seven times. Adam had relations with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth. For she said, God has appointed me another child in place of Abel, because Cain killed him. To Seth also was born a son, and he named him Enosh. Then people began to call on the name of the Lord. Chapter 5 This is the book of the generation of Adam. On the day when God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female and he blessed them and named them mankind on the day that they were created. When Adam lived a hundred and thirty years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, according to his image, and named him Seth. Then the days of Adam after he fathered Seth were eight hundred years, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and he died. Now Seth lived a hundred and five years and fathered Enosh, then Seth lived 807 years after he fathered Enosh, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Now Enosh lived 90 years and fathered Kenan. Then Enosh lived 815 years after he fathered Kenan, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. Now Kenan lived 70 years and fathered Mahalalel, then Kenan lived 840 years after he fathered Mahalalel and fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. Now Mahalalel lived 65 years and fathered Jared. Then Mahalalel lived 830 years after he fathered Jared and fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. Now Jared lived 162 and fathered Enoch. Then Jared lived 800 years after he fathered Enoch, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. Now Enoch lived 65 years and fathered Methuselah. Then Enoch walked with God 300 years after he fathered Methuselah, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Now Methuselah lived 187 years and fathered Lamech. Then Methuselah lived 782 years after he fathered Lamech, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. Now Lamech lived 182 years and fathered a son, and he named him Noah, saying, This one will give us comfort from our work and from the hard labor of our hands caused by the ground which the Lord has cursed. Then Lamech lived 595 years after he fathered Noah, 
and he fathered other sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were seven hundred and seventy-seven years, and he died. Now after Noah was five hundred years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Mark 2 When Jesus came back to Capernaum a few days later, it was heard that he was at home. And many gathered together so that there was no longer space, not even near the door, and he was speaking the word to them. And some people came, bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carried by four men. And when they were unable to get to him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And after digging and opening, they let down a pallet on which the paralyzed man was lying. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. But some of the scribes were sitting there and thinking it over in their hearts. Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins except God alone? Immediately Jesus, aware in his spirit that they were thinking that way within themselves, said to them, Why are you thinking about these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Get up, pick up your pallet, and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralyzed man, I say to you, Get up, pick up your pallet, and go home. And he got up and immediately picked up the pallet and went out in the sight of everyone, so that they were all amazed and were glorifying God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. And he went out again by the seashore, and all the people were coming to him, and he was teaching them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting in the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And it happened that he was reclining at the table in his house, and many tax collectors and sinners were dining with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many of them, and they were following him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why is he eating with tax collectors and sinners? And hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not those who are healthy who need the physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and they came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, While the groom is with them, the attendants of the groom cannot fast, can they? As long as they have the groom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the groom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a patch of unshrunken cloth onto an old garment. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it. The new from the old and the worse tear results. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and the skin as well. But one puts new wine into fresh wineskins. And it happened that he was passing through the grain fields on the Sabbath, and his disciples began to make their way along while picking the heads of grain. The Pharisees were saying to him, Look, why are they doing that which is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions became hungry? How he entered the house of God in the time of Abathar the high priest, and ate the consecrated bread, which is not lawful for anyone to eat except the priests, and he also gave it to those who were with him? Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. 